Is that you, Andrea? Yes. I didn't know I was with Hi. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. It's so funny. I'm calling from Poco Diablo, and you're just probably about four miles away. Calling yeah, four Hawaii miles away, and we're both calling into Maui. It seems kind of funny, huh? <laughs> it does. It really does. How are you doing? I'm doing perfect. I don't have any complaints, honey. Well, I just was telling Christine, who's our, my co-host there in the studio, uh, about how beautiful your gallery is in Tlalcapaki. And, I mean, you just, um, you and Gary know how to build something that is first class and You've been there now for a long time, right? Almost 19 years. I can't even believe it. I can't believe it either. 19 years. I know. A lot year, of people I know. still think you live on Maui. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, whenever I'm there, people think I live there. You know, I see people <laughs> maybe once a year, which is like how I used to see them on Maui anyway. So they don't even know I left. Well, you had a fabulous gallery in Lahaina uh, for years. Oh. And I'm sure a lot of people know your story. You had a stroke, and by the grace of God, you survived. And it, it was life-changing. It was totally life-changing for you. Um, totally life-changing. Well, what it did was it left me in the moment. And it really taught me that um, everything is so meant to be. I mean, really meant to be. Because when I had the aneurysm on Maui, I didn't want to go to the hospital. And I waited hours. I passed out in my living room. And when I finally did decide to go, there was a radiologist from Stanford there who walked in the same time I came in, and he said, I know how to, I can help her. I can, I can go up to her groin and to her brain and coil this aneurysm. And had I gone at any other time, he wouldn't have been there. Yeah, that's miraculous. So it was really, you know, it was perfect. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. And you have the most enlightened state of mind, and it's no mistake that your beautiful new cards are called Enlighten Up. <laughs> and it, it, I will, you know, you used to have years ago, like four years ago, you gave me this little pamphlet um, called well, I Enlighten did Up. Book, I did a book called Enlighten Up uh, many, many years ago on Maui. Yeah. Um, and I keep I went, it by my, my stand in my bathroom so I can read it because well, it's I really great. Print it. <laughs> we printed it a few times and we decided that we were going to do the cards. And the cards are like really an expanded version of that book. And I actually have another one I want to write and lighten up, but it's a more expanded version of the deck. So, mm -hmm. so in time. Yeah, I yeah, know. And it's beautiful. I have to say, you know, you've been so busy. I can't believe it. But you stay so completely centered and calm. But you did this gorgeous coloring book. And it was a lot of work, this coloring book that you did, you know, it's and it was so um, whimsical and beautiful and insightful at the same time. In oh, fact, okay. I was just down at the coffee Wait. pot restaurant, and you know what? They have it down there for sale with your cards. Where do they have it? The coffee pot restaurant. I went there for Oh, lunch. I know. Ton of them. <laughs> they sell <laughs> so many uh, coloring books and decks of cards. It blows me away, actually. They're well, one they of our biggest busy. Well, that, that place is amazing. I mean, you know how many people go in there. Well, I was just telling Christine about how amazing it is. I think it's, what, 101 omelets? <laughs> it's just like in the oh, yeah, they even have omelet. peanut butter and jelly omelets. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I they know. Have some pretty I, had, I had number so. 76, which is really the uh, no, avocado like and, uh, guac, yeah, the whole one with the cheese and avocado. In, and they make these amazing biscuits of... So. Yeah, it was it was funny down there, and it was raining then, and now it's beautiful and gorgeous. But um, I, you, you, you know, it's interesting with your busy schedule. You connected with some um, some beautiful, power spiritual people, and the group that uh, you just took to Egypt was with Beyond Words, right? Right. Beyond Words is uh, the publishing company that published uh, the Secret, the book The Secret. And they, that was um, big. they also <laughs> we made some money on that one. <laughs> yeah, really. They published a ton of, um, you know, new age authors and, you know, they, they're, they're very forward thinking. They published my coloring book and my cards and Matthew's, um, coloring book and cards. And for those who don't know, Matthew is uh, her enlightened up son who lives on friend. Maui and yes, does he beautiful does. Buddhas and artwork and is just. I mean, carries your genes and talent for art. He's a master. Matthew is a total master, I think, you know. He studied art. Uh, you know, I never really studied it. Mine is 
totally different kind of art, but he's he's a master. He really is. Yeah, yeah. And he's it, your his work is uh, on Maui, but also of course in Talakapaki, and yeah. and it's just um, very very peaceful and, and enlightened work as well because it's these Buddhas that are just gorgeous. And so he's um, really his mother for a reason. <laughs> I always tell him, yeah. like, you tell me. Yeah. So, but you know, we were talking about Egypt because. Um, you you have been there now. At, is it almost twenty times? Yeah, it's hard Isn't to that it's hard, you know, the same way I've had my gallery for so long. It's really hard to wrap my mind around the fact that I've been there that many times. Um, we've been going since nineteen ninety four, and and from nineteen ninety four to nineteen ninety five, we went three times. So it was very well, very. Popular. You have seen the same changes. Some of the same changes I noticed when I took my cruise to New Zealand and. Australia, and I was surprised that you noticed it as well, that there's many more Chinese tourists now um, coming to Egypt as well, right? Oh, yeah. Tons. Tons. I mean, Egypt really serves the planet. People Mm -hmm. from all over are there. Tons. But it seems to be that there's more like Chinese groups and Japanese groups. Yeah. The the German people kind of travel on their own. Yeah, they're they're very adventurous. <laughs> the Americans usually go in groups too. So, has it driven the prices up at all at the hotels? Um, yeah, it has actually driven the prices up at the hotels. Yeah, it has. It's some of oh, I've, you know. I've seen dollars, that at other but. places too, and and I think we don't see it as much. You know, it's interesting on Maui, you're not seeing that as much, and I don't know. Some people on our our travel shows say it's because of some of the negotiations and the trade wars and things, I'm not sure. Um, but I haven't seen as many Chinese uh, groups coming to Maui. But they oh, really? are tra- they're out there traveling the world. Are, they coming? are you seeing the, uh, more tourism from international people coming to Sedona? I'm going to let Gary answer because he really is out in the world much more than I am. Oh, you know. yes, you're just home creating artwork that's <laughs> mind-blowing. I, I'm just, so, just hi, Gary, how are you? Uh, aloha. Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, I was thinking when I was in Bali, there are groups and groups and groups of Chinese. Chinese are very, 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 very big world travelers these days. And yeah. um, Egypt gets their fair, fair share of Chinese folks, but I think they've created some good economics uh, for these countries. And I, we're seeing Americans are coming back to Egypt again. And it, it, here's the thing I feel about travel. You can hear a hundred things happening in America, mm-hmm. and one thing happens in Egypt, and their whole economy is destroyed for years, and people mm-hmm. quit going there. And you know, in America, things happen, and people still come here. So it, it's kind of tough on these folks when there's no tourism. And now the tourism is getting better, and right mm-hmm. now Egypt is a pretty good bargain because it's, I think. Over seventeen Egyptian pounds for one American dollar, and uh, you know, seventeen Egyptian pounds for the working Egyptian is, is causes a hardship for them. When we first started going there, it was five pounds. So, wow, uh, it's that much difference! My God, yeah, yeah. It, it's, isn't that amazing? It's, it's a big difference. Yeah. Well, yeah, you so, you know how to shop, it, Gary. If anyone wants to take the trip that you're doing, and you're going to Egypt again, is it December? We're taking a group New Year's Eve on the Nile. We're going December 27th to January 8th, uh, 2019, 2020. And we're going to be on uh, a really beautiful, beautiful boat, a yacht called a Dahabnia. And the name of it is Afandina. And it has eight staterooms. And we're going to celebrate New Year's Eve in Luxor on the boat. Oh, my and gosh. What an amazing... Luxor to me is is my I I I felt like I lived there before. There is such I'm magic. I'm sure you have. I'm sure Luxor, you have. I'm sure you have too. But there's this there's this power in Luxor that's still alive, and I just literally get stopped in my tracks when I see me some of those too. amazing statues that still carry the energy from two thousand years ago. And I mean, I almost get hypnotized when I stand right in front of them. It changes. Even the way I stand when I stand in front of them, they're that, they're that powerful. And yeah, they're, they're, definitely. Some of their they're from, the, they're, they're from the future. 
they're from the future. I mean, yeah. it's futuristic, literally. Yeah. It's very difficult to wrap your mind around Egypt. Yeah. No, it, 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 really it is, is interstellar. <laughs> and it, it really is. And it, I mean, it is. And you know one part, I was reading a book, actually, it was a fiction book. they have done some research about it, though, um, about how there was this whole underground tunnels and, and, and things there. And I thought it was fiction. And I was talking to them, and they said, no, there really are underground oh, yeah, tunnels. And... Well, there's one that goes supposedly from the Sphinx to the pyramid. That's what I heard, yeah. Yeah. Zahi, they showed us the entrance at, at the Sphinx because we get private time at the Sphinx, and you can see the entrance, and there's a ladder that goes down. They move this block of stone. However, Zahi said he started going down. He he wouldn't go further. He got spooked. Ah. Amazing, I amazing. I well, aren't they going to be opening up the new museum soon? Is yeah. that going to be open yeah. by then? I think it's going to be we're, a, we're hoping it'll be open by then, but you never I, know. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's so... Big. It it's, is so. It, it looks like it's the size of a city. It may be the largest yeah. new museum in the world. I don't know. It's it, it's that big, and it's right near the Mina House where uh, we always stay when we're in Egypt. And oh, by the way, there's two staterooms available uh, for New Year's Eve. If anybody's <laughs> in. You don't know. I want to go. I I would love to go. You know, I'm superstitious about New Year's Eve, and I feel wherever I am on New Year's Eve sets the tone for the rest of the year. And oh, really? I, you know, I, you know, I love it. I can't even imagine spending New Year's Eve on the Nile. Are you, know, you going to be actually in Luxor or on the boat at the Nile on New Year's Eve? I, I don't know whether we'll probably have a party at the Luxor Temple. Uh, oh my after, gosh! You know, we don't know that we. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm picturing that. Well, Cindy. we did that this year. This year yeah. we had a private party at the Luxor wow. Temple after it closed, and there was like oh, a. My. It was so magical. It was oh. so magical, Cindy. Honest to God, we had a saxophone player who was playing oh, no. the fabulous jazz, and it was under the stars, and all the tables Very were cool. facing the Luxor Temple, and there were like three draped, tented walls, very, very high around us, so you couldn't see anything but the temple in our environment, and every table faced it, so there was nothing like at the front of the table. It was just open to the temple. It was so exquisite. I mean, it was, you know, I, candlelight. I, that's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. That's one of those memories Real and visions. Real to God. I, I, you know, I've only done, this is the first time I've done it. I've been going 20 times. Yeah. And, and the owner of the company's son said it was only the second time he had done it. I mean, it's wow. really mad. So that was a beautiful highlight. Really lovely. Uh, I, you know, and again, uh, people have to realize if they get lucky enough to be able to go with you on this trip, um, you do, <laughs> if, 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 if there's anyone that doesn't know you, and Gary, you do everything first class. I mean, we're talking five stars all the way. And so it we makes do. it, you know, it makes it that trip of a lifetime that you usually couldn't you know, get in the fact that you know yeah. Egypt and Gary knows Egypt in a way no one else does, that it, it makes it that personal, intimate experience with and really... The, and- well, we know in Egypt that work with us know what people from America like and want and what we kind of, not expect, but kind of really you like know, to have. Yeah, what well, American people really want. And Mohammed lived in, in New York for 10 years, and he was mm-hmm. the ambassador of tourism for Egypt for quite a few years. And so he really felt American in many ways. And so his way of taking care of us is just, you know, before all the water was okay to drink in, in Egypt, you know, before everyone was using bottled water, Mohammed mm-hmm. would literally give us these tablets as soon as we got there in case anybody had anything wrong with their stomach. <clears throat> and he said, you have to take the Egyptian tablets because the American stuff doesn't work. So, I mean, he used to be like our mother, literally. Mm-hmm. He would, like, think of it ahead of time. And so it's just it's a wonderful company to deal with. It wouldn't be the same trip without the company, really. Well, we only have about, I know I have Engineer Gary sending me psychic thoughts that I only have a, about <laughs> two minutes left, right, Gary? Is that right, Gary, about two minutes left? Okay, yes, two minutes, two you. minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes. So I'll start winding up. So I want to let people know how they can get a hold of you if they want to uh, really indulge and, and experience Egypt, uh, <laughs> the Smith, <laughs> Andre and Gary Smith. <laughs> they can you know, I love talking to people, so they can call me directly at our gallery on the telephone. That's, I know that's 
kind of an old invention, but that works pretty well. Well, I'm I'm a tel I'm on a telephone right now. <laughs> You're on. A, I'm right. A, I'm a telephone the talker. Phone number well, is becoming so the number again, the number of your gallery is what? 928-203-9002. Can we repeat that for those who are driving and maybe they can memorize it? Yeah, 928-203-9002. And, um, and, and if they put in Andrea, for the website, if, can you give them the website and they can maybe easily remember that as well? AndreaSmithGallery.com. That'll have all the info. And I just want to say, say how beautifully generous you are. I'm working on a new CD. I guess got the final title. It's called The Gift of Hope. I even got the website. And oh, you gave me one of the Enlighten Up, and it was the inspiration card. And it is so beautiful, and it's going to be the cover of my new CD. And I am so thrilled with it. And I just love you and Gary. Andrea and Gary are just two unbelievably enlightened people. And you can get the Enlighten Up cards if you go to the website as well. And I highly recommend yes. it. They're just, they're so beautiful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I love you both. Thank you for taking the time you. to call in. I love you. Love you too, 